Hello everyone! Hello YouTube! Hi! Here we are! I figured I'd stream on YouTube today because I have nothing to go up. <laughs> I have no content, no videos. <laughs> so here we are. I got water. Hey everyone! Hello, hello! I did record, um... Yes, last night. I recorded last night again. Oh, my hair is all floofy, so sticking out. There you go. Um, but yeah, I God. I so I have I have a fun story to tell. I actually should record this for shorts. There you go. I remembered. Um I have been having pretty bad eye strain lately. Um and I was pushing myself quite a bit with um the three series we've been doing so we've been doing death mark 2 pacific drive and banished right for some reason i almost said bar varnished <laughs> banished <laughs> banisher um and i i was doing like those really long recording sessions for that and stuff and i was like feeling really bad eye strain like in this this inside of my left eye and I, I was like, I don't really understand why though, because I remember when I did Elden Ring, I was recording like three, no, four to like six hours a day and that was fine. So I was like, why is this now an issue? Um, and I, so I got my eyes tested. I went back for an eye exam yesterday. Um, just to like, cause they, the, the thing for the optometrist that I go to is like, they say they also test like eye strain and check your eye health and stuff. So I was like, you know what? I should just get my eyes checked again. Cause I like it, it was really uncomfortable. And I, I was taking more time off as well cause of my headaches and stuff. Um, so we did, we did the scene investigators stream, which was fine on Monday. But I had taken the weekend off, so my eyes were good. And then um, Tuesday, I couldn't do anything. Wednesday, headache again. So I recorded at night. And then today, I also have a headache, but I am I am fine now. Um, it's like I, I took some painkillers and stuff, so I'm good. So I went to the <laughs> I went to the optometrist and I got my eyes checked. And it turns out I'm very surprised. Because the last time I went, two years ago, I was nearsighted, which I've always been since I was a teenager. Like, just a little bit. Not very bad, but like, I, get, I couldn't see things far away very sharp. So just a little bit. Like, it was like, it started with like, minus 1.25, so not much. But then it went down to minus 1. Then it was 0.75. Two years ago, it was 0.5. So it was only minus a half. And I was like, why is it getting better? Like, why are my eyes getting better? Guess what my eyesight was this time. <laughs> Going to the optometrist again. Two years later. Two years after minus and a half. <laughs> I wonder what you guys think. So we're having... We're, we're seeing a trend, right? Plus two. <laughs> It was plus a quarter. <laughs> yeah, two and a half plus a Thankfully, nothing that bad. So it was plus a quarter this time. So I've gone from like minus 125, minus one, 0.75, minus a half, and now it's plus a quarter. And I have no idea how this works. But only my left eye. So that's why, apparently, according to the optometrist, um, it's plus a quarter, but I have pretty bad astigmatism, which is weird to me. Like, I don't really get it because last time I went, they were like, oh yeah, your astigmatism is completely gone. And I, and they were like, yeah, it can just happen when you get older. It kind of like fixes itself. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And now the dude's like, no, you have plus a quarter and pretty bad astigmatism. So I'm like, how, like, and so... Honestly, I don't really know. We'll see when I get my new glasses. But um, his theory is that my eyes are just so good at compensating for the astigmatism. So like correcting itself that I can basic, p 
basically see completely fine, like perfect vision without anything. Um, but lately, all my hobbies are reading, puzzling, gaming, monitors right in front of me, uh, coloring. So everything is like right in my face, right? So because when I did Elden Ring, I was like, but when I did Elden Ring, it was fine. I wasn't reading much back then. So I had my couple hours of game time, but then everything else was further away. So it was fine. But now because I've been reading a lot, um, I realized that I was reading like this, so really close by, but it, I got the ice train and what I did to f minimize the ice train was put it further away. Um, and I was like, oh, that makes sense, because if you're eyesight, if you're farsighted, then you, you do this, right? You put everything further away to see it better. And I was like, oh, shit. Um, so yeah, I, I got a totally new prescription. And he was basically saying like, yeah, this would be kind of like your work glasses or your study glasses. So like for close up, you wear these glasses. So I was like, okay, well, let's add then the blue light filter and everything. Um, so I should have new glasses next week for at the computer and everything, which is honestly, it's so weird though. Cause the last time I went, the last eye exam I did, she was like, don't wear your glasses at your computer because you're a little cross-eyed and it helps train your eyes. And now the dude's saying two years later, a different optometrist is like, no, you should wear glasses when you're at your computer. So it's the complete opposite advice. I really feel like every time I go, I just get different, a different prescription and different advice. But I guess it is tricky if your eyes can compensate different strengths, different prescriptions. I guess. I am wearing contacts right now. I bet you didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, because they they said I have the astigmatism. Um, and like if you get... I, I used to wear these like daily contacts. Just like you wear them one day and then throw them out. Um, so I just bought a box of those. And I was just like... Because they, they auto-correct astigmatism up to a certain degree. So I was like, okay, I should just wear those then because they might help with the eye strain if they help with the astigmatism. Um, so hopefully that'll help until I get my glasses next week. I hope. Yeah, and but it's, I'm a little worried work-wise because the optometrist was like, Give your eyes like a full week to get used to the glasses, like really try and you probably will get headaches and everything. And I'm like, God, I can't, I can't record with like a headache constantly. It's also kind of weird now with the context, like I'm seeing a little blurry close up. It's like, even though it should autocorrect the astigmatism, I guess I need to get used to it and hence the headaches as well. Oh, oops. Um, but yeah, I do want to keep playing those series. I do really want to keep playing Deathmark, Pacific Drive, and Banishers. But it's just gonna be a while. I, I need to take these like two weeks probably to fix or try and fix my eye situation. Um, try and lower the eye strain and stuff. And hopefully just get the right prescription. And then once we're past that, hopefully it'll be better. Um, can be more than a week. Yeah, I'm basically taking like, okay, it takes a week, the glass, new glasses will arrive next week, and then I need another week to get used to the new glasses. Hopefully. Hopefully it's just that and then it's fine. But I did get an insurance because I was like, this is a really weird and very different prescription. So I got like an insurance on it that if I want to change the lenses, I can do it for free. So it might, it might be longer than that, but hopefully... Um, I'm hoping kind of like wearing these contacts, it'll kind of like warm up my eyes for the astigmatism prescription, <laughs> hopefully, but yeah, um, glasses are better overall. Yeah, I hope, I mean, they should be here next week. So isn't that weird? Like I'll probably always be wearing glasses then on my playthroughs from now on. That's weird. <laughs> Although I do like wearing glasses. I, I, I like wearing my blue light glasses. 
ba I basically got almost identical to these. So you probably won't even notice. It's just gonna be this blue light, but with a prescription, basically. So barely anything different. Can you see now? So yeah, now I'm wearing contacts uh, just to help with the astigmatism, but it's a little weird. It's like, it, it's almost like now I have the astigmatism. Like I'm looking at the letters and they're kind of like, you know, slightly like, I, I, I guess you can only know when you have astigmatism, but it's kind of like stretched out. It's, it's weird to explain, but like, it was so weird doing the eye test this time because you get like the dots on the screen and they form like a circle. I don't know if it's the same in every country, but like it was like a circle of dots, black dots on white. Um, skewed, yeah. And he was like asking me like, is one better or two better? Three or four, blah, blah, like the regular test. And I could just see the circle go like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is weird. But yeah, apparently. It does make sense though, why my left eye would be strained. Um, especially lately, if I've been reading a lot, if it's like slightly, just a little bit farsighted, but also astigmatism, like it's just too much to correct all the time. If I go from gaming straight into reading and puzzling and stuff, my eyes just overworked. Are my eyes different colors? Yes, they are. They are, well, uh, so this is also, he also asked me about this yesterday, but this, this side of my face has a cluster of extra pigments. You can see here as well, like a dark spot. There's dark spots in my eyes. Um, and this side of my under eye is much darker. So I use so much more concealer on this side to try and cover it up. But yeah, it's the same eye color. It's just more pigment in that one. Darkness. Yeah. It's a weird one. What's the plan for today? Oh yeah, sorry. Um, so I wanted to do a game called Reveal. That's why I called it Indie Horror, because it's an indie horror game. I think it's like two to three hours, so it should just be perfect for today. If we finish it early, I figured we could do some observation duty or something, should be fun. Um, so yeah, basically just Indie Horror for today. It just came out, I think it came out yesterday, the game. Um, it has positive reviews not very positive so honestly i'm not expecting a whole lot but it's an indie horror yeah you know it should be fun <laughs> um but yeah i i do want to do the series but there i think i think i just kind of like have accepted the fact that my series are going to be slow like i can't just I, I really tried the last couple weeks, but it's just too much eye strain to like really do three, four hour sessions a day. So we're going to just do a stream today. And then I think I'm going to work on uh, the next death mark tomorrow. But I don't know if I can do like the full four hours. I might split it over two days to take it a little easier. So do like two hours and two hours. Friday and Saturday, so it really is just going to be a bit slower, but um, I really hope that in like two weeks I'll have my glasses uh, right, oh yeah, next week I'll have my glasses right on time for the new Stardew update Ooh. that's another thing, we have Stardew coming on the 19th so I really think we just have to make peace with the fact that these series are not going to be done really quickly <laughs> I definitely, like, I love them all and I really want to play more, but it's just gonna slow way down, I think. But I, I do want to see them through. We just have to work on our patience, I guess. Yeah. Plus, it's also really nice to do a bit of indie horror again. I had a great time doing Scene Investigators on Monday, even though the ending was a little disappointing. A little. Very disappointing. Um, but we still have one chapter in that as well, which will be fun. So, best book read so far, so far this year, you mean, 2024? Has to be, um, what's the second book called again? Words of Radiance, I think it's called, right? The Brandon Sanders one. I think it's Words of Radiance, the second one. Yeah. 
I, I liked Words of Radiance more than Way of Kings. Um, I'm in the third one now, Oathbringer? I always forget. Oathkeeper? Oathbringer? Oathbringer, yeah. I'm in Oathbringer right now, but it's, I have to admit, it's a little boring at the moment. It keeps doing these flashbacks of like 30 years ago, and I'm like, I don't fucking care. Um, so it's a bit, I, what that, what I'm doing right now is I'm reading a different book during the day, and then I just read like one or two chapters of Oathbringer at night. So I'm just like slowly chipping away at the book, um, but I'm taking my time because I'm not super interested in what the story is doing right now. Um, yeah, I don't like flashbacks. It's like, I, I understand the character as they are. I don't need to read 30 years ago every other, every now and then, but <laughs> yeah, but it is, it is still really good. Um, but yeah, I'm reading a different book now during the day. I just started a new one. Oh, I read Kill Creek, which is really good. I really liked it. Um, and then I started yesterday, I started What's it called? My throat an open grave or something? Or my mouth? My throat. My throat an open grave. I started. It's a it's a short book. Um It's about like it's a little weird, which I like in a good way. I I keep like misplacing the time period. Like it's written like it's it could have been like a 1700s kind of book, but it's current day because they talk about prom and like the next town over and stuff. So I'm like, okay, you're not totally isolated, but at the same time, they kind of add, they kind of act like they're in a cult. And I kept thinking like, she was talking about baptism and church. So I was like, oh, Christian, okay. Like very heavily religious. But then they talk about the Lord of the Woods and like, being branded with like blood on the chest, like a handprint, and then she's sent into the woods. It's like, you either find this boy or you don't come back at all. And I'm like, okay, that's not Christianity. <laughs> so it keeps like putting me like on the wrong foot, which I like. I keep expecting something and then it's something completely different. So, so far it's very interesting. The Lord of the Woods. Um, I got it because people in reviews were saying it was kind of like, um, Pan's Labyrinth vibes, which obviously is an amazing movie. So I was like, oh yeah, I could go for some of that. Um, so reading that right now, it's like a little short read, which is really nice. Yeah. But yeah, lots of reading, so lots of ice strain, apparently. <laughs> have I seen Dune part two? Yes, I have. It was good. They did some interesting changes from the book, um, but all good. Overall, it's really well done. I I know about you guys, but I, I don't do well with long movies in the cinema. Anything that's like over two hours, no spoilers, no, no, no. Um, anything that's over, any movie that's over two hours, I'm like, okay, I have to go to the bathroom before the movie. And I kind of like refuse to drink my drink because I'm like, I don't want to have to pee. And especially any movie that's like towards three hours and Dune was no exception. I think it was like halfway through the movie. So an hour and a half in, I was like, oh, I really need to pee. And I know this movie's really long, but I don't want to miss anything. So it was like the whole movie, I was just like, oh, I have to pee so bad. <laughs> so I barely remember the movie because all I could think about was my bladder hurting because <laughs> I had to pee so bad. <laughs> and then I couldn't hold it. I was like, fuck this, I have to go to the bathroom. So I got up, I disturbed all the people in our row to get up to the bathroom. And I probably missed like, and it was like right in like a fight scene as well. But I was like, I can't hold anymore. I have to go. And like, it wasn't even like a satisfying pee anymore because you've been holding it so long that it just hurts. And then the rest of the movie was like, oh, I'm so glad I peed. So that was literally my experience with Dune. And I barely remember the movie. <laughs> they need to bring, bring back intermissions. I would love intermissions, yeah. I did... Movies are too long a lot of times. Like, 
I can't hold my pee that long. I, I'm just uncomfortable for most of the movie. I'm fine with a long movie at home, because then I can just pause and go to the bathroom, but... Yeah. Wear a diaper. <laughs> just bring your own desert suit. Pee in it. <laughs> Yeah, I kept making that joke to Sean every time they were like mentioning the suits and like <laughs> anytime they would offer each other water. <laughs> I was like, here's my piss. <laughs> but yeah, it was a good movie. Good movie. Yeah, well, my water, it's my own piss. <laughs> they don't waste their water, no. I mean, I think it's mentioned in the books, yeah, that the suit, like, recycles everything. Did I struggle during Oppenheimer? Oh, yeah. I don't- I didn't have to pee during that movie. Honestly, I think what I need to do is just not drink- only drink- if I go to the movie at night, only drink water in the morning, and then don't drink in the afternoon, <laughs> so I don't have to go pee at night. <laughs> Oh yeah, do they poop in their suit? I didn't think about pooping. Speaking of that, I did love that moment. That is like the funniest moment ever so far in the Stormlight Archives. In the... where they talk about... Um, so, if you don't know the Stormlight Archives, every there's these like suits of armor and swords that are like if you have one you're instantly wealthy like they're the, the prized possessions of any family but at one point they this is kind of not really a spoiler but at one point they talk about a girl is just like but if you're in the suit like if you're in a suit of armor what if you have to poop <laughs> and they talk about like yeah, it's not very charming, but like someone just has to hold a bucket by your butt, basically. <laughs> and then he was like, or if it's the heat of battle, you kind of just go in your suit and it's it's not pretty. And it made me laugh so hard. It's the funniest, the funniest moment in the whole series so far. I loved it. They have still suits that recycle all water. Pee, sweat, water vapor, poop. How does it recycle your poop, though? What if it just, like, it dries out the poop and then, like, sucks out all the moisture, moisture goes back into the suit, and then it deposits, like, a little dried-out cube. That's the rest of your poop. <laughs> this makes it into, like, a neat little compact cube. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Dusty butt. The sand gets everywhere, I'm sure. Asking the important questions. <laughs> I like that. I like a little dried out little stock cube. Yeah. That's what I would imagine. And then they can use that for compost or something. Must have a zip back there at least. Yeah, I wonder. Or just completely, like... Or wasn't it... I think it's only mentioned in the book, but I think the Fremen are, like... Like, their body composition is so different because they're so used to, like, living on so little water. They might not even, like, pee or poop anymore. Like, the body just, like, absorbs it all, maybe. I'm not sure, actually. I don't think they ever mention it in the book. Where the poop goes. But I definitely know the Fremen are a little different. Like, they're... I always... When I, when I was reading the book, I always kind of thought of them as like little dried up raisins. Because they, they live on so little water. But yeah, I don't know. I don't think they... Yeah, they don't really mention it in the book. <laughs> Reveal what's it about? I 
don't know. I think it's like a circus thing. How long have I been alive? Half an hour. Let's go! I'll start up the game. Is it working? It's working. It's working! There we go. Uh, what is this? Flashing lights? Let's see, yeah. Seizure when exposed to visual images, flashing lights, patterns, epileptic seizures. Okay. Fictional game. Oh, sensitive subjects. Suicide. Okay, here we go. Trigger warning. Suicide, violence against women and children, blood, alcohol, and drug abuse. Typical indie horror, of course. Um, be safe. Oh yeah, it was Daedalic. That's why I was like, oh, we'll play it. I know Daedalic. I've heard of them before. A reveal. Or re-triangle ale, if you like. Testing out different settings for your machine. Oh! Nice. How's BB's diabetes? He's been a little weird. Like, I, I give him the same amount of insulin, but he's not going down. I don't know. It's been a little weird. I'm hoping it's just a phase. That looks really cool. It's a little, like, um, dollhouse with fabric. Let's see. Let me just check real quick. Text overlay. Smooth look. Enlargement of subtitles. Ooh. Let's try 20%, see what that's like. Keyboard, controller, graphics. Perfect. Can I do windowed? No. Okay. DLSS. Nice, nice, nice. All good. VSync on. 60 FPS. I'm streaming at 30, so that doesn't matter. Um... What do we got? Mono audio. <laughs> that makes me miss. Uh, I, I fucking love playing a retro game and you go into the audio settings and it's like, do you want stereo or mono? And that's it. <laughs> 2D music, 3D sounds. Um, let's put these at 80. Oh wait, this is volume in general. But leave the voices at a hundred so we can hear them properly. Makes me think of um, Hot Fuzz, where it's like, do you want red wine or white? It's a nice sound. I see wings. Scissors? Scissor man? Ah, fuck! Always with the fate of white. Oh! Oh ho ho! We're on the raid! Whoa! Yeah! Let's go! Fucking badass! Oh. What was that? Cool. That's awesome. There's the house. Dude, I had the wackiest dream right now. Ooh, still drunk, apparently. Oh. Wow, what a strange dream. My head hurts. I need to get this headache under control. That is 20% enlarged subtitles. Are you joking?
Let's try 50. This should do it. For headaches. I said a medivine. No refills. Oh, I can zoom. Leave inspection with space. Okay. Baby stop dials for babies. <laughs> well, maybe Martha and Dory are still up. How is that 50%? Are you kidding me? Oh, oh that's that again. Oh, this is a nice loft though. Oh. That's so nice. I would be a little paranoid because it's a little bit in the open, but that's a lot of drugs. Drugs? Hints. Oh, like that icon? We used to read together. I wish we still had the time. That's still pretty small for 100% bigger subtitles. I, I'm afraid to see what they were like at 0%. Courier dressed in yellow, Edgar Paul. What are my thoughts about the book? Oh, wait, text overlay, I see. Good story arc, enjoyed their relationship, hardship, and how they overcame them. I felt immersed and invested in the final showdown. Walter really liked the book. My question for the book club next week. Aw, book club. If you were making a movie of this book, would, who would you cast? That's so fun. Wait, I can. Oh. Wow. I think this was part of the old music box. I can take it. Is that the music box? How do I? Can you put it in there? Oh, I see. <laughs> Something's coming. This is very soft. Oh, there's the key. Why was it in here? Is the is his voice audio good? He seems a bit soft-spoken, but the level seems good. Oh. Wait, what's on the floor? I don't know. Sounds okay. Awesome. Then we are good. I wish good. we could find the time and money to travel. Tampa. Can I... Oh, yeah. I can't turn. Oh, that's hard to read, though. Sunny greetings from Tampa, Florida. Vacationing in Tampa. It's really sunny. It's pretty good here. We'll stay a little longer. Hope you're doing well. Say hello to Walter for me. Henry. Henry, Martha. Oh, this is to Martha. So is the key for the front door? Martha already took care of all the circus stuff, which leaves me with the rest, as always. Circus stuff? To-do list. Practice with Dory for the next show, buy new paints and brushes. Wait, are you guys doing a show or something? Groceries, make dinner, help Dory with homework. Oh, I should look for Martha and Dory. Oh. For some reason I... Oh, wake up. What was that? An earthquake? Whoa. Can I read that? No. Can I open that? No. Oh. Huh. Doesn't seem to work. I mean, they're on. Days without calls. Whose call are you waiting for? <laughs> Very PT inspired. Oh, it's broken. Is it broken? Oh, I should clean that up later. One of three candles. That's a cool painting. A 
someone left a record player on. Oh, there it is. I was like, where is it? Stop. Martha can never get enough of this track. Stop. No music allowed. In this YouTuber house, we don't like copyrighted tracks. Brain. What does it say? Origins of psychotherapy. Oh, that's probably a good hint for what's going on. Ooh, was that behind the painting? Oh, I wonder no, if for calendar. once family night will actually happen. Tory parent teacher conference, Martha show in the evening. Book club on Wednesdays. Family evening. 1981. Martha really likes them. We have different tastes. Martha, Martha, Martha. What do you like, dude? Whoa. Well, maybe Dory's in her room. Whoa. What's going on? Everything was shaking. Daniel's seventh birthday. <laughs> Cute little dinosaur. Mary's turning seven. Dory's really happy about the invitation, but sadly she can't come because we have a show in the circus that day. Hmm. This one also doesn't work. Interesting. Nice voice actor, by the way. I like the voice. It's nice to listen to. <laughs> Feet. <laughs> this is cute. Say the name of each picture. Is the vowel sound long or short? Oh, cool. Mr. Giraffe. She takes him everywhere. <laughs> cute. Oh, Tori's room. Dory. My baby. Dory, is that you? I mean, she's not here, obviously. Well, I wish she would take it more seriously, though. She's such a bright kid. You cut with a knife you see with your eyes. You play with your nose. I mean, she's not wrong. Hmm. You can definitely play with your nose. I think this coin was for the old machine. Nelson Burroughs? Oh, I took it. Dory loves these, so I made Ooh. one for her. You made one for her? I like it too. Is there a ball somewhere in there? Oh, not yet. Maybe we can find one. These stars now make me think of my car in Pacific Drive. <laughs> I think it's supposed to look creepy, but Dory and I love clowns. Dude, it is creepy. What are you talking about? I guess it's different when you work in the circus. I need to open his mouth first. Can I do that? He's missing some teeth. Oh. I guess we need to find them. Dory's drawing book. It's locked. I need to search for the key. Why did she lock oh. this? That's a really cute stuffed animal. I can't open the drawer. Looks like a oh. map. Whoa. Daddy solved the puzzle. Um, box? Oh, the coin? Horse races. Okay, let me see. Oh, I took this? it home from the circus. It's old, but I'm fond of it. So what do we do? Do I press a button somewhere? How to play. Insert coin at top. Pull a handle on the right. Oh, I, I used to have one of these. Shows my age. Nowadays, it's all iPads, but back in the day, it was like, you want to play? Look at these balls. Find their way down. That was fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> okay. This should work. What does it do now? And 
not sure. Can we do it again? Oh, we can. Are they gonna fall out? <laughs> yeah. Marble. My favorite color. Oh, that's the only one you can take? Okay, so that then we use here, right? <laughs> I also have one of these. <laughs> oh, careful now. <laughs> Danger at every corner! No. Ah. Very carefully. Yeah. Oh, perfection. Oi. Hey. Yes. Uh, a bunch of plastic. Yeah, there. yes. Thank you, plastic teeth. Um, oh wait, I can turn. Oh, I don't like this game though. It still freaks me out. I played it recently with Sean with like one of those. Uh. Uh, I don't like it. He's gotta get my fingies. Okay, right side's clear. Wait, are they all good? Ah! That giraffe is a key. How clever. Huh. Okay, great. All to get into your daughter's diary, huh? Ooh. <laughs> Dory, age seven. First sketchbook. There she is. Did you know she's in the circus? Just in case you hadn't noticed yet. She likes giraffes. Red car. Okay, it's getting a little darker. That's cool. Scissors. That's awesome. Dude, she's very talented. <laughs> that giraffe. <laughs> I totally now noticed it. Oh! Whoa, that's awesome. Holy shit. What is going on? <laughs> this has to be another dream. Dude, what did you smoke? Wait, this can't be. This is right by the lake near the circus. Dory? I heard is her. Is that you? Dory and I come out here all the time. Oh, Mommy, what? Daddy, I found a really, really big fly. <laughs> Sweetie. I was just going to say, you mean a dragonfly? dragonfly? Oh, be careful. They can breathe fire. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be silly, Walter. You'll scare her. Cool. Dory, what are you doing out here? Oh. She sounded so far away. <gasps> Where'd she go? You're not even questioning that? He's like, well, she does work in the circus, so she's very nimble. Wait for me! I'm not that fast! <laughs> <laughs> Next time she says daddy, I can be like, do I look like? Oh, I guess I do. <laughs> I am your daddy. Oh, that's Agatha's card. She's good friends with Martha. Darkness. How 
does she keep running to the next tree, dude? You're not questioning that? There's the train we use to travel. Nowadays, the circus just stays here. Cool. It looks great. It's loading in the new environment. Hey, Nelson Pros again. Like the coin, yeah. Martha and Dory. Tonight, big show. World famous mother and daughter in a series of difficult aerial feats. Oh, there they are. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Feels like ages since I've been here. <laughs> but at the same time, like yesterday. Daddy, over here. Oh, there she is. <laughs> the circus. Oh, the fun house. Let's go. Oh, she's in the fun house. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh dear lord. Oh, do I need a ticket? I need a token to get token. into the fun house. Where do I get it? Okay. Check fuse box in backstage tent before guests arrive. Hmm. And there's a cable as well. I must have changed hundreds of these over the years. Oh, nice. I think this should be enough for a few rounds. Of what? The cable goes here. What's this? <laughs> I Darts. wonder if I still got it. Do you want to play? Ellery, thanks for becoming a member. Thank you. Martha prepares Sorry. here for the show. That's Martha's blindfold. She used to wear it during the finale of her solo show. It was always scary, but I knew she would never fall. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't seem to be powered. Well, this is where all the cables well, go. Let's see if we can turn the power on. Did that do it? Output 117 volts. Check requirements before enabling power. Oh. Oh, do you think it's like a... Try different order to things. Oh. Yep. Okay. One. Four. Three. Nope. Okay, that has to be one. Four. Two. Nope. Oh, there's seven. One. Four. Seven. Aha! Two. Oh, ho, ho, five. Hey! Three! Got it. Hell yeah. I am so hard. Are these mine? I can see you smoke. Future. Come see it too. I just need a token of appreciation. I do have money, but Zohan is grateful for your appreciation. The great Zohan sees you have lost something. If you want to find it. You must search for it. Mm -hmm. A long drive over the hill will surely be of help. When you arrive, all doors will be open to you. Oh, wow. That's really helpful, Zohan. <laughs> well, let's see what the future has in store for me. Huh. Why did somebody wrap this up? Win a token. I need a token. Hmm. Sometimes Dory tries to catch up on some homework, but usually not for long. My workbench. Huh, bread. Well, we restored power at least. Oh, look! Hey, it's 
twerking! Can I get on it? Oh, I can! <laughs> Can't really move properly. Oh! <laughs> Mario 64. Well, that's creepy. Still need a token, though. I've wrote racing. Score a thousand to win a token. Okay. Ah, let's get this on the first try. What do I do? How do I? Ah, uh, uh, okay. So far, so good. Oh, I don't like this. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's best to stay in the middle so you can evade to the side. Oh god, I need to go to a thousand? I just want to see my daughter! More points. Come on. Ah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yay. Easy. I did it. Okay, now I can't relax. Gamer in town. Ah! Seven oh. hundred. Got it. Whew. That was stressful. <laughs> there you go. Eat it. The turnstile should move now. Push it with your nose. There you go. Yes, the fun house. Now the fun begins. Ooh, loading. Okay. Hmm. I'm very impressed so far. Mm. Welcome to the fun house. Thank you. Oh, Dory always drags me through here. I think she just really likes to scare me. <laughs> and again, la 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 la. I'd love to go to a fun house. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Not so fun now. Push it with your nose. Ooh, pretty. Okay, I think we're not in the funhouse anymore. Ooh. I was just gonna check the books. How did you know? Collectible. A koi town. This way, or this way. Cool. Uh, Dory, enough playing around. Dory, 
Where you at? This. <laughs> Wait. This way. Whoa. Oh, there she goes. I think it's one of those things where she was dead all along. I wonder. The eyeball lady. <laughs> Dustbin doctor. Master of escape. Sideshow freaks. Oh, man. This place has seen better days, huh? You still- you sure you still work at the circus? Are you remembering something from years and years ago? Well, die. Or we're in Germany and it's just like D something. Dory, I'm serious. That's enough. Die Antwort. <laughs> we're in Germany and it's just like the. <laughs> Where did she go? Whoa. Oh, that's weird. Oh my god, that perspective. Wait, where did I go? <laughs> cool. Oh, this is so trippy. Oh my god, that's so trippy. Oh my lord! <laughs> Amazing. Picked a really good game for ice train, huh? <laughs> oh, this is a fake door! It's just Please flat. wait, Dory. Oh, oh, what's that? A train? A Dory's train. Oh, I don't remember putting a motor in you. Where is it going? Do we follow it? Fine, fine. I'll play along. Where are we going next? <laughs> follow the train. Cute little train. Oh, a door. Thanks, train. Ooh. Wait, oh. Dory. <laughs> the way she ran. <laughs> this must be a new addition to the fun house. Cool. Yakitori. Fried chicken. So familiar. Izakaya. It's a bar. Cool. Soba, udon. <laughs> That's awesome. It's actually perfectly accurate. Weird. Oh, what does it say up there? Oh, that? I don't know what that says. That's, uh, that's Chinese. Simplified Chinese. And that says yakiniku. Oh, huh, weird. Kind of like mixed two countries there. Hello. Oh, it's an elevator. Where are we going? Oh, down. Hey, my eyes are doing pretty good. That's good. I don't feel any of the ice train that I normally have in the corner of this eye. So hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's a good sign so far. Oh. Oh. Wait, are they moving? Oh. They are. It changes every flashing light. 
Huh, Jesus. Oh god. Of course. I mean, I want to get out of here. <laughs> Those doors are so excited to see us. <laughs> oh, I can't contain it. <laughs> There once was a young man and woman who fell in love in a special place. This Wait. sounds like Martha and me. What does? A couple who fell in love? They married soon after and had a child together. A healthy daughter who was their whole world. Dory. That's so cool. Where is this story going? Why is it about our family? I mean, it's your life. You should know where it's going. Growing up, she happily followed in her mother's footsteps. However, their road was not without obstacles. Money was short. Time spent between the three even shorter. And so the road led to an inevitable end. Inevitable? Happy or sad? Or split? I want happy. Growing up, she happily followed in her mother's footsteps. However, their road was not without obstacles. Money was short. Time spent between the three even shorter. And so the road led to an inevitable end. Inevitable? Okay, so that one I can't do. Should we try to split? Uh -huh. What is that supposed to mean? This isn't up. true. I think. I have to hurry and find Dory. You did have a headache. Wow. This... Oh, there's something really weird with the... Maybe it's... my eyes are messing up, but... Silent Hill 2, anyone? All we need now is a boat horn. As we're going down. Oh, I'm so excited to play Silent Hill 2 again. <sighs> Again, the remake this year. I hope it's good. We'll give it a fair chance. If it's bad, we'll just play the old one after. Get the UFO ending or something. I was just think. Oh. I was just thinking that the stairs seem to go on for a long time. Oh. Oh, no, no, no! Oh. It propelled me forward. This is so cool. Visually, it's stunning, this game. I love this, like, the scratchiness, like it's drawn with crayons. But it doesn't open, so... that? Is that blood? <laughs> Hi. Sorry, I was just trying to clear my eyes, so I didn't even see you guys up here. Oh, it opened. <gasps> mirrors! I definitely have done a house of these, house of mirrors, as a kid, and walked straight into a mirror. And since then, it definitely instilled like an irrational fear that if I don't pay attention, I'll just walk into a mirror at some point. Like even out on the street. <laughs> it's like, pay attention or you might run into something. A 
Casimir. <laughs> Hello. Oh. oh Tori, please stop running away. Dude, I hate to say it, bro. Your kid's kind of creepy. Also, you don't have a reflection, so... Oh, wait. This is the mirror. Is this where it came from? Follow you through the mirror. Oh, we're stuck. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's creepy. Who's knocking? Open again. Why is it red? What's happening? Oh, those markings. They're all triangles, though. What's up? It keeps like really subtly changing on me. Oh. Oh, it moved! Ah, oh, it's moving! Creepy. Creepy guy. Oh. There's the tremors again. The level design is really cool so far. I love the look of it. It really does feel like I'm just going through a fun house and it's just kind of like happening to me. Whoa! Cool. Oh, thanks Can for becoming a member. Can we go to the lake today? Please? I already did all my homework. I swear. What do you guys think happened? Do you think they died in one of their circus acts? Or did their relationship just break? Like, they just split up and then he can't deal with them leaving. That's so cool. Wow. That was a Daddy, trigger warning Daddy, for suicide. Did you see so. how high up I was? I was flying like a superhero. Definitely cool looking. I'm sorry, Dad. I need to go practice with Mom. I will see you tonight. Anytime it saves, I'm like, what's happening? 
What are we doing? No, oh no, no, god! No, 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 whoa, 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 no, no. whoa! Oh, big future man. The great Sohan sees you did not find what you seek. Not yet, no. You will Working on never it. find it, for this is not your future. But if it is not your future you seek, maybe the path before you can lead you to your past. Will you follow, even if it means certain doom for you? Sure. Again. Go and seek the truth. Oh, I must be dreaming. I don't understand any of this. Okay, where do we... Oh. oh I see red blinking. Oh. Oh, wow, wow, Please, wow, wow, let me wow. wake up. What if you don't like waking up? Whoa. If this is you awake, maybe you were better off dreaming. E. Mot. <laughs> Emote. I always like to do that with movie titles. You know how a lot of movie titles like to do like a slow reveal? <laughs> and I'm always like, like Alien as a slow reveal, so I'm always like, eh. Aye. Ale. <laughs> oh, Alien! <laughs> Bicycles. Kind of reminds me of that SCP game that we played as well. Mot. Oh, what a nightmare. Oh, I need to get something for these headaches. Oh, what a fucked up dream. <laughs> Where are my meds? I usually keep them here next to the bed. Oh, I better find them quickly before this headache gets even worse. This oh, is such a I weird searching for Dory? Rue. Uh, no, no, no. I was just dreaming. A bunch of empty pill packets, but these aren't mine. Are you sure about that? Moving boxes, but why are we packing? That's what I was thinking. If you just look at this room, like it looks like a loft. And like he just moved in and he's like living on his own. Like this looks like a one person apartment, right? Still very spacious one person apartment. Um, but then you go through this door and it's like. Locked? Oh. Did I lock myself in or was it someone else? Why did you, yeah, that's oh, why I was why also I confused. I feel like the key is in here. Where's this figure again? Oh, wasn't it? Oh, I forget where it was. Um, where did I grab it? Did they move it? What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, and then the the bedroom door being locked really made me think like he was in an apartment, and that's just the front door. Oh, there it is. Why is it over here? I don't know. You live here. You tell me. What's that? Why did we keep these in particular? There's blood on it. Hmm. Let's see if the key's in here. Do you think it actually is an apartment? Ah, uh, I knew it. But in his dreams, it's just connected to the house he used to live in. Oh, what time is it? Oh, I should check on Martha and Dory. I definitely have that sometimes when I, I've moved a lot in my life. I've lived in a lot of different places. And sometimes I wake up and I'm like, where the fuck am I? 
And then I'm just like mixing up all the houses I've lived in. It feels off when Martha's music's not playing here. That's good. Because in this house, we don't like copyrighted music. Tori's probably sleeping, but I should still check on her. Did I go this way last Martha's time? Martha's probably upstairs painting. Oh. Is this where she paints? Oh. Oh, that's a lot of empty bottles. Martha and I usually only drink on special occasions. Dude, you what blocked out a on? lot. This isn't Martha's room. What happened to our bathroom? This can't be real. Ugh, everything here looks filthy. Oh, I think I see my pills floating in there. Well, I guess it can't hurt to still take them. There you go. Ah! Whoa! Maybe it was just Dory uh, but, who died? Uh, but that was Dory. And then the parents dealed, dealt with it very poorly. Oh, upstairs again. Like, the mom oh, the turned to drinking and the dad... Oh, cool. I mean, if we're talking like Martha, are you in here? Oh, what are standard oh, indie horror. Ooh. Fool. Did she leave it here for me to find? Tarot cards, cool. Like this is another loft on its own, right? <laughs> it does not feel like those two places are together in a house. I think we have a fortune's worth of colors in this house. I feel like the mom probably got like a uh, painter's block after. Oh, Ooh. Is that a, an actual eye? Hi. It's watching me. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh. What is this? Where is this? I can't turn it. I have this strange feeling that something's missing here. Oh, I need to put something in these things. I have this strange feeling that something's missing here. Okay, what does the eyeball want? Oh, well, Dory's not allowed to be in here alone because of all the chemicals that come with Martha's hobby. Uh-oh. Did she drink the paint in her? Dory on my shoulder, cook work, more lights. I'm like searching on now like lights. Maybe she had epilepsy and they didn't know. Maybe Walter can build some glitter cannons. Glitter cannons. See, kind of the way, at least from the people I know, have epilepsy. I just wish Dory had more time to spend on normal kid stuff. Weekly training. Oh, I'm taking it. You kind of just assume someone doesn't have it until suddenly it happens. And then it's like, oh shit. Okay. This gets weirder and weirder. Mm. <laughs> Am I supposed to go through the looking glass? Mm. Like a friend of mine. She didn't know she had it Martha, until... She's blindfolded. Oh god. Oh. Oh, what's she doing? I didn't expect a person. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Um, but yeah, she didn't know she had epilepsy until she was just playing a Nintendo, like, NES game for the first time. I'm crouching. Dude, way ahead of you, game. I had to say my first indie horror. Oh, are you? Do you just keep going? Talk to your wife, though. Hey, more eyeballs. Oh, they're all looking at something. Why 
What y'all looking at? This brush is weird. Take it. Let's see what's in this hallway. Oh, it's just the bathroom. Okay, just nothing here. I'm fucked. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Bye, wife. So what is she doing in this weird dimension? <sighs> Let's hope she doesn't come through. Now, let's see. So I put that. I guess this feels right. Oh! How many times, Walter? Don't disturb me when I'm painting. We'll talk later. Yeah, when she was painting, she was in her own world. It was hard to get through to her. Hmm. Well, something happened. But I probably need more than that. Do I do it again? Maybe now I need something else? So there's a... It looks like a finger, doesn't it? By a paintbrush? Oh yeah, and now I can put it there. Okay. So... We did see that, didn't we? In the other one again. I think we did. Unless it changed it now. Oh, she's still there. Don't come up the stairs, please. How do you crouch walk off the stairs? That must be so awkward. Ooh. Dude, what are you doing? Stick to your pathing, please. Oh, there's growth here now, too. Martha's earring? It's an ear. Okay. Walking upstairs is fine. Did she do a whole Van Gogh thing? There you go. Not now, Walter. We need to get ready for the show. Let's not do this in front of her. Yeah, what did I want to talk to her about? Divorce? There. Ha, ah, the room changed again. I should find the last one. Let's see what we're looking for. Mm-hmm. Okay. That must just be the painting corner. Where is she? I think she's right under the stairs. Oh dear lord. That's Martha's tarot deck.
I thought she was. Whoa. <sighs> Calm down, Walter. It was just a dream. Collect all altar items without being caught. What was it? But I didn't put I it on the thing. Anymore. Oh no. Well, these usually help. I should take a couple. This should do it. Damn it. It just took me to the next section. I was so close. Well, what time is it? Do you think now I'm going to get Dorian like a bad end? Still up? Why is it over here? I was there last time. Why do I feel like the key is in here? Where is this figure again? Let's see if the key's in here. I'm on PC, yeah. Or could I maybe just... Ah, uh, I knew it. Do you think I can do the same section again? I wonder. Oh, no, this can't be happening. Ah... Wait, do I still have it? I have this strange feeling that something's missing here. I guess I have to try again. Man, she straight up killed me. But I was crouching and she was blindfolded, so I don't really know what else I could have done. Now I'm not crouching. I'm just getting closer. Maybe I should stop moving when she growls. Hey, Mantra! Good to see you! Thanks so much for 67! Our distance. Oh, yes. Oh, I have such long arms. Hell yeah. She didn't stand a chance. The longest fingers. keep performing with me can't you see this is her future you will not change that oh, i think we argued about dory's future in the circus but martha wouldn't listen to me at all i felt helpless what was that what was that sound oh no are we in the red room Wifey? Dude, how many painkillers are you taking? This could be very dangerous. There was that lady recently who died from taking too many lemsips. What of the all hell things. is going on? Is this crazy dream finally over? What if he thinks he's taking them like four hours apart, but in reality he's taking like two painkillers every ten minutes. Oh, the figure's already placed in there. Ah, knew it. Thank you. Huh, same thing happened again. Am I still dreaming? I need to figure this out. What was up with that dream? Now at least we're back what in the house. What happened between me and Martha? Aren't we supposed to be happy? Why didn't she look like that? The music. No. Stop it. It's definitely darker here now. Oh, two of the paintings are down. Do you think I did two sections now? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Where's Martha's room? 
I can't go there uh, anymore. Our house doesn't make sense to me anymore. He's so calm what the about fuck it. What's wrong with my head? Scratch marks? What these? This is Whoa. not where the kitchen should be. <laughs> huh, strange. Martha doesn't like takeout. Especially not pizza. People can change, Even okay? More bottles. I'm cute. <laughs> this is what happens when Nori helps me with my work. Oh, I see now. She painted it into a panda or something. I can look at everything. Jeez. I always did the dishes. This can't be our kitchen. No food in the fridge. But there's something else. What? What is it? <gasps> a key. The garage key. Who put that in here? Huh. My therapist always catches me when I when I do that because I I from live streaming and recording I kind of like unconsciously taught myself I think the garage is up there to always put like a disclaimer in things so if I'm like like I don't like something and then I'm like maybe someday like, like I don't want someone to pin me down on my an opinion. Workshop. What is it doing up here? And then my therapist is always like, you can, you know, you can just not like something and just leave it there. You don't have to like build in a disclaimer Sometimes that maybe someday you will like them. it. So like prepare people that you may change your opinion. It's like, I know. Oh, what is that supposed to be? Let me do my thing. Oh, Martha told like me about these sister. Cistercian numbers? That looks cool. A little puzzle. Okay. So one, two, and three, right? But none of these have a little hook on the bottom. Oh, this one does. Like this part, and then what is that? I don't see this on it either. Oh, maybe four? And two? Wait, that doesn't make sense though. Would it be two, four, one for this one? Hmm. Locked. We use this for all kinds of stage props. Oh. It's mine, but uh, I can't remember the combination. Okay, those are completely different. Oh, they're all over the walls. Okay, so how do we know which ones we need? It might be... There might be a hint of, like, look at these objects or something. New bulb for stage light, repair rope, winch, new leg for the carousel horse, repaint clown door. Leg for the carousel horse? Do we have one somewhere? Oh, yeah, here. Hmm. So maybe this is one? Let's see. Let's see again. Because it's four things, though. New bulb for stage light. Rope winch. Stage light. Maybe there's a broken stage light somewhere, actually. So 
so hard to look at with the black light. What do you guys think? Think I'm on the right track? The clown door, though, doesn't really have any specific markings either. The legs. The leggies. <laughs> the little butt. We only need three, which is a little confusing. And there's this, which doesn't make any sense. Hmm. It could also just be a bulb somewhere. Because it was replaced bulb for stage light. Is that only half of one? Hmm. The panda bulb? That was a collectible, I think. Um, I also don't know... Where they are. Here they are. Yeah, that's a collectible. I don't think that's <laughs> This a... is what happens when Nori helps me with my work. I don't think that's a hint for the game. Oh, there's a token there. Rope winch. What's a... What would a... A mannequin. Oh. Very versatile circus prop. What would a... Only the legs are left. Look like. Hmm. Maybe the rest is still in here somewhere. Oh, maybe we should find the rest of the mannequin. Oh, there's the head. I got this at the circus for Dory after I had to repair one. <laughs> she just really... Oh, oops. Didn't mean to cut him off. Wait, is there a torso somewhere then? Ah, that's ah. the torso. Looks like the head and left arm are beyond repair. That still fits. Can't put the mask on? I need to find the arm. Oh no. We need to find one arm. Have we seen one arm somewhere already? Uh. Not really. Or is this an oh this I oh, thought it was a I thought it was a pony the... leg. Mm -hmm. also oh, one, two. Mm, now I just need to find the hand. hand. Where did I put it? There's a hand somewhere. There's a oh. laser pointer attached to the hand. Oh. Whoa. It moved on its own. And it's pointing somewhere. Okay. So now we need to figure out these numbers. Okay. So what did I say? Try... So that's the position you put them in. Two, four, one. One, two, three. Okay, two, four, one. Let's try that. Two, oh, two, four, so one. like this. Two, 
Bunny. Okay, so that must be the first symbol. Okay, let Maybe me just put that in. this is one symbol for the lock? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, half an umbrella. That one. No, maybe not. I don't think that the line was through it like that. Or maybe it was? No, that one. Yeah, yeah, that one, I think. Right? Yeah. Okay, number two. So two would be... Ooh, the second one is one. Uh, four, one... Four. Four, one, four. So, like this? Diamond. Okay. There we go. That's it, right? Okay. And then... Number three. It ends on a five, three, and two. Two, three, five. So, like this? Uh huh. Moment of truth. Ah, Back. got it. Hey! Let's see what's inside. Figured it out. Well, this Ooh, is a sword. prop I took home a few years ago. I modified it with a secret compartment in the hilt. Wow. Sometimes I use it for stuff that Martha shouldn't find. Did I leave something in there? Let's take it apart on the table. Oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, well, dude. Let's take a look. I just need to twist the hilt and it should come off. Oh, there's something Can't inside. Those? What is that? Huh. This contract with Dory Thompson. Circus. Uh, seven years. And then there's an, uh, at least 40 hours weekly. Assumes all risk and responsibility for her own safety. What kind of sick contract is this? Why don't I remember this? And how the heck is my signature on it? I would never have signed something like this. Martha, I can't believe she would go this far. This is going to ruin the rest of Dory's childhood. This contract obliges Dory to perform for the circus until the age of 16. Under contract with the circus for a period of seven years. So they signed this when she was like nine. Legally binding, enforceable in a court of law. At least 40 hours weekly. That's a lot for a kid. Adequate food, lodging, and medical care while under contract. Circus will ensure that these provisions meet or exceed all relevant health and safety standards. Dory with a provide Dory with a fair and reasonable monthly salary. Any missed performances will reduce the salary. Circus is not liable for any damage or injury. Wow. All risk and responsibility falls on Dory. She's a child, though. In case of fatal injury, the parents are to be paid a sum of $1,000. That's nothing for the life of a child. Oh, what the hell? A train? Whoa. Whoa. We're in a train. Oh. Starting to worry about what they did to their kid. Next time we wake up from a nightmare, we just find a check for $1,000 and it's like, well, <laughs> guess we know what happened. Whoa! Oh, yeah, I know that smell. Hey, that's what we saw in the start. Sometimes I helped out with the feeding schedule. Emma loved apples. Whoa! Oh, oh. Oh, it's just Emma, our oldest elephant. Oh, 
very sweet animal, but the circus was not the right place for her. Nobody should Big be elephant. Like Scared me. Loud noises. <laughs> Just where are we going? <clears throat> <clears throat> Next would be the sleeping apartments. This kind of cozy. Rodri the clown and our magician. Oh, what was his name? Oh, I never really liked magicians. They always mess with your head. Oh, who was sleeping here again? I mean, dude, if you don't know, how am I supposed to know? Dory. That no, this is so cute. <laughs> I often spent my nights in the workshop. Yeah, that probably wasn't very Martha healthy for our relationship. For show. Collectible. A makeup box. Dream big and believe in magic. That was collectible. Hey, Lana. What are you doing? I'm participating in a spitting contest. Can I watch? Sure. <laughs> what happens next? I want to flip the page. I want to see your spit. Empty. Well, the circus started losing people a long time ago. Do you think that's why the train ultimately wasn't worth it anymore and the circus settled down? And we bought a house that we couldn't afford. Why is the creepy mannequin here? Do you think the mannequin is representative of either his wife or his daughter? Like they fell in an acrobatic accident and crushed their skull? I wonder. made the long journeys a little more bearable. We mostly had canned food stocked. Ooh, is that cheese? Sometimes Rodri cooked. His canned beef stew special was amazing. A wheel of cheese. This just needed a little knock right here. And there it goes. I can't even hear it. You hear a bit of a guitar. Oh, it was a real pain to play when the ride was bumpy. I installed a metal plate and little magnets for the pieces. Thinking back, the time here wasn't all bad. Shame that the circus is no more. Wait, what am I saying? I still work here. Martha and Dory still have their shows. We just don't travel around anymore, right? Why is Dude. My so fuzzy? The denial Wait, is strong in this one. This is my workshop again. Oh. oh what the oh. fuck is this? Oh, oh, gotta go, oh, gotta, gotta go. Oh, 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 oh. Mannequin's coming for me. Oh god, it's still coming. Oh, shit. Oh, this thing is still following me. Getting beat up by a man. Time to wake up. Oh god! What the fuck is this? Oh, I need to get away. Okay, what do I do? Can we do something to the plank? Can I go to the side? Oh, look at that. It was that easy. Thing. Maybe I can block the door with this. At least it should buy me some time. <laughs> I better hurry. Dude, where are we gonna go? We're stuck on a train. Ah, shit, no lever. I needed to decouple the wagon. Uh huh. Where could it be? Get rid of this thing first. Oh, could I decouple the wagon? Is it here somewhere? Dude, I have no idea. I think it's coming. Oh no. Still got time. Where is it? I don't 
see it. I'm freaking out over here. Oh, different mannequin. Oh, There's you're holding it. Give me that. Let's get rid of this goddamn puppet. <laughs> Took me long enough to find it. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. Now I have to pull the lever to the right <gasps> side. Oh, ha, ha. Oh, oh. Oi. Bye. I hope hey. it's gone now. Okay, what now? Dude. How do I get off this train? Spider webs. Can I even leave or am I trapped in this nightmare? That was stressful. I didn't like that. There's nothing more to say, Walter. I've made myself clear. Oh, what is wrong with my head? Denial, trauma, a lot of things. Ooh. I don't care what you think. You can leave. We don't need you. She doesn't need you. Where do these cruel flashbacks come from? I just don't know anymore. Away from this awful circus. I have to save Dory from her. Hmm. I wonder if she forged the contract. Because the dude's like, I would never sign something like this. Getting a little twisty. It's very cool. <laughs> Are we the body? Here we go. Exiting the train. We also don't still don't know what that winged figure was at the very start. Cool. This looks so cool. It looks dead and cold. Oh, oh no it doesn't. Oh. What's going on? It sounds like it's gonna explode any minute. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Well, maybe I can let off the pressure somehow. Uh. Okay. Which valve? Where? There. Oh, that seemed to work. Okay. Do you want more? Any other levers? Oh, I think it's getting worse. It's getting worse? Okay, not nothing else we see. I'm just turning all of them. I have to hurry. Dude, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, that's all of them stopped. Just do all of them. I guess not. I really thought I had all of the valves shut, but damn. Whoa. Ooh. 
Floaty, floaty. Okay, I can't see. I can't swim. Weird. Penrose Street. Oh, maybe that's why it's a mix of Chinese and Japanese. Maybe it's just like a, a little Asia town somewhere. Open. In America. cool looking and then the revival is a telephone box I wonder what the significance is of that behind you do we wake up from the dream again A lot of times I'm like, was I supposed to die there or this is going to change the story somehow? I don't know. Oh, oh. oh. What happened to the train? Are we going back to the circus? This is the circus. Martha's rehearsing tonight. Yes, I remember now. I need to get there. Oh, hey. I got a bad feeling in here. Ah, oh, here is Zohan. This is what the great Zohan sees, sees in, in your future. future. Tonight, the stars align. It is the best time to achieve your goals. Hmm, something came out of the machine. Oh, really? Death. Collectible. Seems like a pretty bad... Mm, the death card doesn't necessarily mean literal death. Oh, those lanterns are so pretty. <laughs> Love Zohan, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I have to do the next show alone. How could she get sick now? Oh, did you two go to the lake again? In this cold? Mm hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if the mom Dory's was taking the home. kid's salary as well. I think today is the only chance. As a legal guardian. Oh, if I don't do something. Dory will... I can't see another way. Why can't I see another way? This looks awesome. Where do we go this time? Everything is so surreal. It says closed, but is it really? I guess it is. Maybe some other time. Oh, big show, main entrance. Let's go! Martha and Dory. without the ticket.
Did he kill his wife to protect his child? I don't know. Ooh, looks like the storm hit us pretty bad. Oh, that's a big tent back there. The wonderful, this wonderful world, mysteries of nature. Is anybody there? A little booty. multi-stream? No. One chat is enough. Martha must still be in here. Will she though? This doesn't feel right. Hmm. Tonight. Just Martha. Oh. I need to hurry. Is that her? Are we going up? Up here is the rigging. What are you doing with the rigging? That's a big, oh my god. Yeah, this should cut through the ropes. Cut through the ropes? What are you... Oh. What are you cutting? What is this gonna do? I don't know. Oh, Stop. I have to click there. Why am I doing this? No! Safety net. No! I won't let you take my child away. You killed your wife. Dory? No! Oh. Did you kill them both? Jesus. <gasps> Dude, the fact that you were willing to kill your wife and not just take it to court or something. We should be able to fight over custody. Like, the fact that she's making your daughter work 40 hours a week is not... That's enough to... Oh, now I remember what I did. I... I murdered... Dory. But why? I... I... Doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, Martha. Uh, Why would I do this to you? There, there had to be another way. Yet I picked the worst possible one. Why? Oh, how could I believe this would help you in any way? Oh, I am so sorry. But what now? I need to find a way out of here. Hmm. Oh, I can't see a thing. Is that a flashlight there? Flashlight time? Oh, yeah. Hmm, what is this? It seems like something has to be put in there. Oh, is that? Oh, God, what was that? Okay, this is a very delayed flashlight. Why are these bells everywhere? I'd better be careful. Oh, she blind again? Yeah, if the... The wife and kid fell, they must have crushed their heads. That's why the mannequin... What's happening? Oh, the fuck?
Where am I even going? Oh, this way apparently. Super sloth. <laughs> that's so cute. Oh, that's the. Uh, I still bought every issue. It was super sloth. Oh. Can I not look at it too long? Oh, yeah. Should I go this way? Dude, it looks so cool, though. It sounds cool, too. Groceries! <laughs> oh, what's that? Should we go there? I don't know if I can run. Oh, the gas station. Oh, gotta watch out. I remember. I needed the money and I didn't mind taking over the night shift. I was fired after two weeks when they found me drunk behind the counter. Oh. Maybe there's something inside. Okay. Text. Walter, I wanted to let you know that I have made the difficult decision to terminate your employment here, effective immediately. I know that you've been through a lot and I know you need the money. However, the safety and well-being of my employees and customers are top priorities. And I cannot tolerate behavior that put them at risk. I wish you the best for your future and hope that you take this as a chance to reflect and make positive changes in your life. If you need something, feel free to reach out. I will try to help you. I just can't continue your employment here. Sincerely, Derek B. Hmm. Oh, Derek was a nice guy. I didn't know what to do with myself besides drinking. Ah, what that's is definitely that? what we need. I feel strangely drawn to it. What is that? Car keys? I can't really make it out. I don't Some kind of cube? Uh, oh, looks like wow. a puzzle. What's a cube? Where? What? The thing we just found was an orb, dude. Not a Can I go under this? No. Okay. Let's see if we can find another one. Oh! Jesus. Ah! <gasps> uh. Dude, I didn't know you were right there. Oh, 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 Back in bed. Some kind of punishment? Oh, there must be a way out of this forest. Okay, just resets me here. Great. Do I still have the one ball? Hey. Oh, it fits perfectly. What is it? It's cool what it is. Okay, let's find another one. I didn't expect her to be right outside. Let's go this way. Oh. Man. It kind of should be like a thing of like... Because... They're sound alone, Again. right? Oh, is there no way out? Like if you run a bit, crouch, and then crouch walk. It should just run to where it last heard you, not just... It shouldn't just be like a. Okay, I know exactly where you are now. You're dead. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Oh, there's a tent here. I think if she screams, she's seen you. Yeah, kind of seems like if if she screams, you're dead. Nope. Hopefully this is fine. The fuck? I'm crouch walking. 
Okay, so she can definitely see me. But I wasn't hitting the bell last ooh, last time. Like how do I Should I just run? Should I just go? Should I just be quick about it? I don't know what's over here, but I'm about to find out. Feels like I was very lucky to find that first orb now. This is big. Wait, what? Huh. Back at the gas station. Promising. Go in, go in, go in, quick. Get it, get it, oh, take some it. Some kind of necklace? Hmm, I can't make out the name. Those are dog tags. Dog tags? Daddy. What have I done? Oh, the door is very excited. Do you think the monster's right outside? Yep. I'm in my kid's room, you can't get me! Do you think she sees the flashlight? I can't turn it off though. Okay, time to run. Let's see how fast she is. Put her to the test. Aha! What now? <laughs> She's too fast for her own good. amazing okay so I need to find one more it should be oh hey there's a way up here as well it should be pretty straightforward because it should be like a big light source a little mouse so I ran that way I'm gonna run this way next There she is. What is the tent doing here? Yay, found it. I somehow feel drawn to it. Nice. Mm, looks pricey. Uh, but it couldn't be mine. But it feels like it belongs to me. Pricey watch? Do you think he got a ton of life insurance? This damn nightmare. There's the winged figure again. It's so cool. Are we going for a ride? Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Enjoy the ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I wonder if it's gonna go from cute to like actually terrifying. So now we kind of know what happened, but we want to know what happened afterwards, right? I think. So we know now that... Oh, there she is again. I don't remember this part. We know now that he tried to work at a gas station, but was an alcoholic, so... Oh? He turned to a cult to revive her or something weird. What is that? What was that? That looked sci fi. Where's this again? This is me. Getting engaged, getting married. Having a baby. I'm so sorry. It's visually stunning. turn. Oh, weird. can look everywhere. Oh. Hi. <laughs> My daughter? That's the sound from the Hmm, there's more at play. There's something beneath the surface. What is that? I don't know about that, dude. What is that? A lot? Whoa. Oh, oh, this shit. room is a mess. What happened here? Is it still locked? No. What is that noise? I want to find this out. This leads nowhere. Whoa. Cameras? Oh, is that a camera? Why are there cameras in our house? Who's watching? The kitchen? Everything's falling apart. Mm. It's so impressive how everything changes constantly. Oh! Oh! That's so cool! The whole wall shifted. This is 
is starting to like look like portal or something. Like this is all a studio shifting. And... Whoa! What the fuck is going on? Props. Is everything a stage? Who built this? And why? Did you build it? Oh, not you too, Zoan. <laughs> And this is the circus. Do you think? Because he was a prop maker, right? Did he start rebuilding everything as he remembers it? Martha and Dory. Who would do something like this? Oh, like bowling pins. Oh, you could do it again? Oh. Wait, now you're back in your house. There's nothing there. The painting room. I don't know what's going on. I just want to get out of here. Are they experimenting on you? Hold on. How sure are you that you're taking painkillers and not something else? Of a giant machine. What is going on? This is all just wall. Oh. <laughs> Those are the scratch marks that we've been seeing. The box is still open. Dude, I did not see this coming. And then Even into the train. the train. Oh. Break. 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 This is fault. Oh. Did I do this? I think I'm outside the house. That's so funny because I was saying how the layout of the house didn't make any sense oh, to please me. Please just let this be a way out. What is going on? I I am shocked. I am legit flabbergasted. <laughs> I did not expect any of this. What? Holy hell. This place is huge. The fuck? How the fuck did I get here? What is going on? There's no keyhole. The <laughs> fuck? This is else. amazing. Why is there a computer set up here? Someone watching Subject you? Subject 7. Is that supposed to be me? What are they doing here? What was I doing here? Maybe this opened the door. My heart rate's pretty steady. Potential escape detected. This is insane. 
Wait, how do we even know that you actually had a wife and child? What are you doing out here? Put that down. Did I kill people? Oh, what is going on with my head? Pizza. Oh, they even have groceries delivered? Oh, yeah. He was like, wait, I never had pizza. Ah, oh, weird. Looks like a workshop. Not yours, right? My sword, but the hilt is empty. House number two, bedroom prop staging notice. Make sure to replace smashed bottles. Use the fake medicine packaging. The only real medicine should be in his painkillers. There we are. Remember to hide the key in the music box and use the master key to lock the door after. Hide the figurine somewhere obvious. We want to. We just want interaction. It's not a treasure hunt. Postcard props are only to be used after a fresh cycle. That makes so much sense now that like broken. when my when Martha would get me in the painting Another room, prop. I would just wake up in the bed again. But then oh, a lot of the bedroom led straight to that painting room again, and I was like, in my head, I was like, oh, that's cool. Like we can just skip the house. But now knowing that the rooms were shifting. So that we, the test subject, could progress. Oh, and it's the loading icon. What a twist. What the fuck? Thorn <laughs> Corporation. There. That has to be an exit. Well, I can try. Aw, oh, damn, locked. There has to be another way. Key card? What the hell do I do now? Oh, this headache is killing me. An office. How many people work here? And where are they? Door controls. Emails. This is so bizarre. Dear and please, facility is currently under lockdown. Stay calm and continue your work as normal. As soon as this emergency is resolved, the lockdown will be lifted. For more information, please feel free to speak to your supervisor. Calculator? Oh my god, I just have a... How th that's... Okay. Wait, I can actually click on these icons? Oh no. This is bizarre. Wait. Oh no, I can't actually. Okay, URD department. <clears throat> oh god. I think he's dead. How long? Who was he? This feels like, um, total recall. There's URD. Jeez. Wait, wait, wait. New subject for house 12. Marianne, 27, Frank's Cafe. Christine Cassie, 32. Harrowfield says locations. Barbecue event. A scouting report. Scouting for what? Or who? Demographics. 35 Wait. male. Subject 7 was also on the screen in front of my house. But it says Liam Kennelly. That's not my name. Oh my god. What the fuck is going on here? Living situation solitary. One room apartment in Chinatown. Oh, that's why we were seeing Chinatown. Liam Kennelly dropped out of school when he was 15. Abusive relationship with his parents forced him to sever connections early. He joined the army, but records show him leaving after a few months citing a dependency discharge. 
He returned home to care for his dying father, who passed away three years later. Since then, he moved again and has been unable to find stable work. He's holding himself afloat with very small jobs. Social connections. Subject has no known family or friends. He leads a sol solitary lifestyle with minimal social interactions. Subject has no known emotional attachments. No, no known physical limitations. A history of financial struggles and debts. Suggesting a lack of motivation and drive. Based on the information gathered, Liam Kennedy appears to be an ideal candidate for the memory replacement experiment. The subject's uneventful life reduces the risk of memory remnants. His history of financial struggles and lack of motivation suggests a beneficial state of mind for the procedure. The subject's cognitive function and physical ability are sufficient to go on to undergo the procedure. That's so cool. Elisa Baker. 29, software engineer, hell yeah. Master's degree in computer science, you go girl. Lives with husband, two children, and suburban house. Successful software engineer, supported by family. May not be an ideal candidate. Her strong emotional attachments to her family may increase the risk of memory remnants. Her stable personal and professional life indicate further attachments that could increase the risk factor of her invitation. Okay. Cognitive abilities make her an interesting subject for highly technical, complex memories. The risks may be too great. Further investigation may be necessary to determine if it will be possible to make her a suitable candidate. Clint... Ed I keep opening it twice, I think. Clint Edwards. Shared apartment, high school graduates, never pursued further education. Small circle of friends. Clint appears to be a suitable candidate. Subject's life experience and emotional attachments show no special risk for mem memory remnants. Okay. Oh, here's a log. Subject woke up and seemingly had a bad dream. Details of the dream are unclear. No sign that it is connected to a memory remnant. Subject behaved strangely, strangely around a connecting corridor. Maintenance team is looking into it after the shift. No indication of memory remnants. Subconscious breakthrough should have taken place, but subject exhibits less signs than usual at this stage of the cycle. Subject's strange behavior continued. Early termination of this cycle is recommended. But then the lockdown happened? Nice. Schooled. Next. Lockdown. Hey Trevor, you still haven't sent me the report about the potential subjects you told me about. Would really appreciate it if you could manage it with this week. We're running pretty dry over here. By the way, everything alright over there? I heard some rumors that your facility had some kind of lockdown. Management told us to leave that topic alone. I hope it's not too busy over there so you can send me that report as soon as possible. God, so all that guilt we were feeling about our wife and daughter, that was all fake. Miles. How many years have they been doing this? Scouting. Archive. 2016, so 16, 17 years. Who did hey, who is this guy? Oh shit, he has a gun! Damn. They now have my full attention. God, it must have been a bad lockdown. Why can't I open this? There's nothing in it. Maybe later. Hmm. Gunshot wounds. Server rooms. What do they do with all this data? I wonder if I'm the one who shot everyone. Why did I go back into the memory rooms then? Safety, familiarity maybe? But then broke out again. If there are others. Subject 2, house 1. Seven, nineteen, twelve. Oh my god. Oh, that doesn't look good for him. Subject 34, deceased. Oh yeah, they're all deceased. Oh, 
there it is again. Subject 7, Liam Kennelly. Cycle 87. Damn, you went the longest of everyone. But they all died. Mary Hugh is contained. Subject seems to remember arguments with Martha. In the cycle, the subconscious breakthrough began earlier than expected. Cycle 11. New memory stage rooms seem to have the desired effect. Subject notices the mess in the bedroom. Subject's perception seems to shift to slowly reveal our intended setups. Still no indication of memory remnants. First concrete perception breakthrough seemed to have been in the bathroom. Requires further investigation, but this seems to coincide with the last cycle. Subject could not be observed for roughly two minutes while searching Martha's room. Seemed to search for something in the corner. Weird. Subject 8, Mary. Subject is experiencing vivid dreams. Increased brain activity observed during the REM cycle. Dream content currently unknown. Subject seemed to desire a visit to the nearby park. Park stage configuration of the house was used and the subject seemed to imagine a relaxing walk. Subject experienced a mild headache which subsided after taking their medication. Subject was observed crying while reading a book. Reasons could not be concluded. Subject experienced a sudden burst of anger, throwing objects across the room. Possible emo emotional breakthrough detected. Subject calmed down and resumed normal behavior. Conclusion? The observations of Subject 8 during this cycle suggest that the memory replacement procedure is having some effect on the subject's subconscious mind. The vivid dreams and emotional outbursts indicate that the implanted memories are being integrated with the subject's personality. The subject's park visit indicates that the immersion effect of our stages works as, as, works as expected. Further monitoring and investigation are needed to determine the exact cause of the emotional outburst and to ensure the subject's safety. Ooh, and 14. Restlessness, agitation, heart rate increased. Subject is displaying unusual behavior, whispering to herself and appears agitated. Keeps touching a scar on her leg, possible memory remnant. Subject was seen unconscious in the study hall room. Retrieval team was sent, but it was already too late. Deceased. Subject register, door controls. Nice. Hey Peter, I just wanted to let you know that they just came back from updating some data on House 2 and found Hannah was not at her post. She even left her gun on the desk. I think she was getting coffee or something. God knows what would happen if one of those drugged up subjects would get out and there was a gun just lying there. We really need to talk to her. If I see something like this again, I will need to file a report. I know you guys are close, so just talk to her. So that's how the shooting probably happened. Hey Pete, I know I'm already asked this, but can you please take over my pizza, pizza delivery shift this month? I hate direct contact with the subjects and I really hate filing out the forms later. Filling out. I'll cover it for anything else you want this year and grab your coffee, coffee every day. How does it sound? Okay. Uh, we got another exit. Or another door open. Yeah, I think I just need to go back the way I came. We are playing an entirely different game right now. Okay, so this is the next one, I think. Oh. Wow. Wait in secret. So there are building scenarios here. Excuse me. <gasps> this is a circus. circus. Death, Death in the circus. circus. This is my scenario. The dark at sea. Dude. Can you imagine if we could get a game of every one of these? Leave war behind. That would be amazing. More bodies. How many people died in here? The Nelson Bros. Oh my god, here it is! Super Sloth. Oh, 
Oh, this is so weird. They were planning all of this. Makes me want to watch Total Recall. What is this? Memory disc. A good life? <laughs> Ironic. Maybe this will come in handy. Can you put that in there? Our studies have shown that supplementing our medication with visual stimuli helps with our imprinted memories, especially in cases where the subject first represses part of the imprinted memories. Going forward, we are restructuring the, our houses to include stage work easily tailored for the specific memories. This, along with a change to our medication, should increase visual hallucinations for the subjects. Fake props and cutouts should be enough visual stimuli for most subjects. Ah, so our mind just made it real. Special rooms will be constructed when the need arises, but they should only be necessary for special cases. We expect a dramatic increase in the stability and longevity of our imprinted memories. Dr. Brian Emerson. Fabricated memories. Procedure Everything successful. Is staged. Measured values all fall Brian into. And Dory aren't real. You're, you're now figuring that out. Dude. I can just put all these fake memories into my head. I can't believe this. Oh, oh, what is going on with my head? Measured values all fall into expected ranges. Fabricated memories were reviewed and approved. Old memories archived. Traumatic family killing one fabricated. Subject awakens and appears disoriented. He seems unable to recall any information about his previous life. Introduced to the artificial house modeled after his invented family home, he's able to recognize and identify the house as his own. He, however, seems to dismiss the current state of the house. Subject finds a photograph of Martha and Dory. He's able to identify them as his family and is able to recall basic information about them. That's why he constantly was like, she likes to do this and she likes to do that. Subject seems unable to recall the traumatic parts of his fabricated memory. Subject is searching for his wife and daughter. Subconscious seems to radically alter his perception to fit his fabricated memories without the traumatic parts. <clears throat> Initial conclusion. The memory replacement procedure was successful in implanting artificial memories into the subject's mind. Further observations seem to indicate suppression of parts of the fabricated memory, but no sign of the existence of old memories. Subject's perception is altered in order to support the suppression of the memories. Elena, is everything okay between us? After you didn't show up, I tried to reach you, but your phone's going straight to voicemail. Is everything alright? Did something happen? Call me as soon as you read this. Of course they're good, I just need to make sh the request for the time off that weekend, but that shouldn't be a problem at all. And yeah, we get those weird requests here too. Our lead researcher is so obsessed with logical consistency. If they notice one small logical error, they scrap the whole memory and make us restart from the beginning. I guess they just want to test this stuff thoroughly, so we shouldn't read too much into it, but I'm not 100% convinced they already know, they actually know what they're doing. Still good for next month, book the hotel. Are the researchers in your facility this weird too? I got a request to change an ethnicity in a memory because it fits the time period better. It's just so cliche, I can't imagine how this would make the memory feel more natural. Hmm. Urgent request. In order to secure the next funding stage, we're required to prepare for our first outside trial. Details for the target subject should follow in a few days. The imprinted memory should be closely modeled after their real one. Details will be provided as necessary. The only condition is to make at least one modification that will be verifiable long term. Details of those modifications are up to you, but please keep in mind this memory will be tested outside. Stability and security are the highest priority hmm <laughs> lorem ipsum text thought you fixed it we got lucky and it didn't seem to affect his immersion but you should really make sure this doesn't happen next cycle Ooh, i have a modification request for death in the circus subject seven because of the special circumstances, we want to take every possible measure to increase the memory compatibility. We would like to give the Martha character Chinese roots. Oh, additional background research has shown this may fit better for the intended time period and circus setting. We can reasonably assume that this will feel more familiar for the subject. Ah, according to his last place of residence. We expect that this will increase memory, memory stability by 5%. Be ready to make additional changes in a timely manner. 
Additional story details are up to you and your team as always. We prepare everything as soon as possible. We want the modified disc ready for the next cycle. This is so cool. Okay, we got the door Discs. open. All locked away. Where do I watch the disc that I just grabbed? Let's see. So the restricted area is open now. Is this where the subjects are? Oh, oh my head, my head, oh, oh. Oh, I passed out. Oh no, don't be back in the house. Oh, different house. Wait, is this your real house in Chinatown? We were just getting to the good bits. Kennelly. Kennelly, your rent is late again. You don't pay up till the end of the week. You better have your estate already packed up. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying. Oh, well, I guess I think we're remembering something. Oh, I'm not sure how long I'll stay here. Well, I don't need most of it anyway. I found this yesterday in front of my door. Can you find us? A thousand dollars for every participant. A thousand dollars. I'm not sure if this is some kind of joke, but man, the money would be nice. Wait. They uh, don't go like into it not knowing what. Box. Shouldn't be too hard for me. It seems stuck. Oh my god. Do you think they go I into it not something knowing? Something like a key here. What seems it's stuck. Like. What do I do? It seems stuck. I need hints. I can see a piece of paper. Hmm. My, my phone. We, um, ask Shunt to scan BB. Just in case. Oh, actually. Yeah, he's so high today. It's like the insulin suddenly stopped working. Something flat needs to be inserted here. There's a strange oh. key hidden in there. Triangle key. Okay. Um... Okay. The batteries are missing. First, I need to put in some batteries. Okay. Oh, it's just open. Ah. Well, that sounded like something happened. A translucent disc with some kind of symbol in the middle. Hmm. Take that. He's in range. Okay. Okay, got a disc. Two circle. So that's for here. Let's put that one back on default. Um, did I do this one? Well, that sounded like something happened. Okay, four square. Um, wait, does this? Oh, yeah, 
Wait, did I already do three circle? No. I did two circle. What else have I not done yet? Batteries for that. Paper in that. Oh, the discs. Still need one more disc. <gasps> hmm. It seems stuck. V2. Five on the bottom. Oh. That one. Oh, that was it. Nice. So then that goes here. Ah. So do we want to make a... Oh, do we want to make the company logo? This. Not that, right? I think I had it in the right spot. There. Um. Yeah, that's it. Maybe I need to find the batteries? it needs to shine through it. First, I need to put in some batteries. Do we have batteries? Uh, I guess I'll have to find a job where I don't need a car. Can you imagine you get sent a puzzle box like that and then you don't have batteries in your house? Your 2001 Honda Civic with the license plate has been repossessed due to your failure to make timely payments. Mm, Stoku. I forgot to finish this. It'll have to wait. Ugh. I could pawn it off, but it's the last thing I have left of him. Mm, your dad? Oogie, woogie, woogie. A battery. Ah! Maybe it's not empty. I think I need two batteries, though. Uh, it's disgusting, but I like cold pizza. If you don't want to waste money, why would you make eggs to not eat them? Sorry, you're a nice guy. I just can't with you living like this. I thought this would somehow work out, but I was wrong. If you want to let people in your life... Wait, if you want to let other people in your life, you need to change something. Sarah. Well, wouldn't have worked out anyway. Ah. Another battery. Nice. Oh, something came out of the cube. Yee. It's ringing. Hm. Must be a hint. Penrose Street. Wait, that's right around the corner. Should be easy to find. R. Clark. Strange ticket. Solve the puzzle cube and grab the golden ticket. Guess I'll go look for another hint. Uh, what am I even doing? This is so bizarre. So he signed up. Ah, here it is. He voluntarily signed up for experiments to get the money. But didn't know that he was signing off on complete look for another job. Mental what reconstruction. Am I even doing? This is probably some kind of scam, right? Is that it? The laundromat? That's what we went through before. Maybe I'll find something in that back alley. That makes so much sense now. So cool. Oh, is that a phone ringing? <gasps> that must be it. And that's the phone booth. A phone booth? That's new. What now, Liam? Can you put the ticket in? 
Oh, wait. One, two. Uh, dial hourglass crown moon. Oh, hi. <laughs> hourglass. Seven, one, eight. Seven. One. Eight. <gasps> Easy. Okay. No. This is slowly getting interesting. The cameras. Nice Big base. elevator. Sounds like my kind of nightclub. funny that they go with that triangle because I have like a Zelda version of that. Are these old prison cells? Let's hope they don't lock me up. <laughs> oh, this would be so weird to walk in on. This is even more creepy. I don't think I would keep going. I think this would be... I definitely wouldn't come alone. Hi, everyone. Ah, this is where we put in our ticket. That's how we got there. Please enter chamber three. What is this? More puzzles? This is where we passed out. Just one last, one test. last test. Start the timer. Okay. Thirty seconds? Jesus. Do you think I inhaled some kind of gas? Uh, what the fuck is this? Oh. They didn't exactly ask for my consent, though. Do you think consent was given when you went into the room? All, unless this is now another rewritten memory. Dory, Martha, you're not real. Oh. How sure are you that this isn't another scenario they're putting you through? Should I just go back out again? Oh yeah, I can go here now. Just another puzzle to lure me in. To be fair, they just lured you in with the promise of a thousand dollars. Oh, this is what we saw! No turning back now. I'll get to the bottom of this. We saw a flash of this. So that must be what they rewrite your head in. I guess the power is out. Power capacitor missing. Do we have one in here? This looks oh. almost exactly like the cube I received. Prototype. Okay. Nothing else. Just a collectible. Can't see anything. 
I should try to turn the power on. Oh, this is what I need to power for. Okay. So maybe on the other side. Oh, yeah, that looks promising. Oh, that must be the generator. Oh, but it's not working. Ugh. One of these things is broken. Now I just need to find a replacement. Can't be one of these. Hmm. Can I? No, I can't go there. Okay, so I need one of those big tube thingies. But where am I gonna find one? It's too dark. It's too dang dark! Or uh, maybe now I can find it in room two. Generator two. Mm, this one seems broken. Also broken. <gasps> there. Oh, this one looks good. Mm, this one looks good. Yep. And we. Darkness. Oh, perfect. Nice. Let there be light. Oh, not that much light, but... Maybe here? Power reboot. Nice. Did I use this machine before? What the hell did I do? Oh, there's an exit over there. Can you restore your memories, maybe? Oh, why would I touch that again? I just need to get out of here. Oh, this room feels... sinister. Looks like a cult. Is this where they messed with my head? Oh, locked. It looks like I need an ID card to get out of here. Mmm, brain. Creepy. So where are we gonna find an ID card? Senator Baker makes miraculous recovery. Was this us? Senator Baker has made a miraculous recovery in a remarkable turn of events. Recently, he admitted he was admitted to the Neurological Care Institute in Phoenix as revealed by a spokesperson. Official statements only mentioned the sudden discovery of a brain disorder without providing further information. Unofficially, rumors circulated that he was facing early onset Alzheimer's disease, which would have significant implications for his political career. In an unexpected press conference this morning, Senator Baker appeared in perfect health, confirming that he had been diagnosed with a rare form of dementia. However, thanks to a new experimental treatment, he has already achieved a complete recovery. While many celebrate his remarkable turnaround, some members of the medical community dismiss it as merely another PR stunt. They argue that there is currently no development, developed treatment that could account for such a recovery. Interesting. Death of last subjects. Subjects two and three. Uh, brain hemorrhage. Old memories resurfacing. Uh, severe headaches. Inflamed mm -hmm. brain tissue. Memory imprinting risks. Uh, resetting imprinted memories. Blocking the original memories again. Uh, the countermeasures. Uh, initiate the next cycle. Uh, further research required. Dr. Ian Keller. Okay. Subject two and three both died due to the brain hemorrhaging. Do you think then they fixed his dementia by just implanting the memories he was losing? Like his real memories? The observation reports indicated that both subjects began to resurface their old memories while still retaining the full range of the imprinted memories. Ah, so they were clashing. The initial signs of this phenomenon were severe headaches that increased in frequency and intensity. <gasps> Maybe I'm having dual memories. Both subjects were put under strict surveillance, but they died shortly after. Postmortem brain scans showed highly inflamed brain tissue. It is supposed that having two sets of memories at the same time puts undue stress on the brain. 
The observed outcome indicates the potential of yet unknown risks associated with memory imprinting. It is important to note that with only two cases so far, we cannot accurately determine the factors that are responsible for these extreme cases of this phenomenon, and further study is necessary. Based on the observed results, it is recommended that countermeasures are taken immediately on the first signs of resurfacing of these memory remnants. Recommended countermeasures to initiate the next cycle of the subject, resetting the memories and blocking the original again. It is also suggested that subjects seeking to repress certain memories may be more suited for this program. So they reset us oh, 87 shit. times or something? Does this mean I have to use this machine to fix myself? I don't have time for further research. I just have to try it. But you wouldn't want to reset yourself. Oh, an ID card from one of the researchers. Oh. oh, this could be my ticket out of here. Uh oh. But wouldn't oh, resetting yourself just make Focus. you think that you're looking for your wife again and your kid? Evelyn. That is excellent news. Okay, wait, let me read this first. Proud to notify you that my team and I have successfully imprinted our first test memory. The volunteer remembered our control number when asked, without ever being told them. Procedure went without incident and his vitals are in expected ranges. He's eager as we are to continue with further tests. As far as we know, we're the first in the world to actually alter human memory with desired data. We obviously have a long way to go, but the implications are incredible. I can't even begin to imagine how much this will change the medical landscape. Theoretically, we could find ways to treat most neurocognitive disorders. This technologi technology could even be used therapeutically. We will continue right away and sh could, sh could schedule the next advanced tests as early as next week. Keller. Excellent news. I knew you and your team could do it. We will have a magnificent future to look forward to. Please meet me next week. We can discuss the next steps. Okay. I'm not sure if you're the right person to talk to. Brandon Lee, a member of my research team, was overheard making remarks about quitting. It seems to have to do with his family. I made sure to brief my team about the company policies regarding early resignation. But I have to stress that Brandon is a very reliable worker and an important part of the team. Unsure how to proceed. We will take care of it. Hmm. I hope this email finds you well. Ugh. I have excellent news for the project. I just had a meeting with someone very high up in the government. I can't disclose their identity, but they express special interest for certain applications of our project. With their support, we would secure all the funding we would ever need. They may also be able to introduce me to a military contract contact. But for all of this to work out, we need to finally take the last step. They want confirmed trials outside the facility. A subject has already been procured and detailed documentation is on its way to you. Please get everything else underway so we can proceed with the trial as soon as possible. If we manage this, the impact to the political world we could have would be unimaginable. Notify me as soon as everything is ready, Evelyn. And lock down. Okay. Do you really want to do that? I don't want to do that. Let's see if we can just leave. I don't think resetting yourself is going to help you get out of here. I must use the machine to fix my head or I'll die. <sighs> How are you going to do it? How do we turn it on? I don't know. What do we do? I don't think I need them. Death in a Circus. 50 Cycles. Liam Kennedy. Kennelly. Subject 7 has thus far exceeded all our expectations. The rate at which the memory remnants are observed in him is high, explaining his high cycle count. But his resiliency to, other, to their side effects is unprecedented. Typically, our subjects last fewer than 8 hours after memory remnants occur, which has forced us to greatly increase our observation efforts and security. Even after this, our failure rate for most subjects is still quite high. Subject 7 suffers the same side effects, such as headaches and dizziness, but his condition progresses much more slowly. In several cases, we only noticed after reviewing footage that the memory remnant even occurred. Side effects were so minor that it took days for them to become apparent. 
We believe it would be fatal for him in the end, but this increased resiliency makes him a very special subject indeed. It may allow us to test our most unstable or dangerous memories much more safely than with other subjects. We still must be careful to only initiate new cycles as needed, as we can't risk losing him. That said, noticing the occurrence of a memory remnant seems much more problematic for him. We will request new funding for special safeguards. Oh. Did I kill all these people? I really I don't did know all if it was this. You. Making me believe I murdered my family is bad enough. But I killed all those people in here. They were real. Oh, the spoon. I thought that was a key. Lee and Kennedy. Yeah. Oh, locked. I need the password. Okay. What would it be the odds of it just being A on the sticky drive. note? You want to put in your actual memories? Memory disk 2. So... Is this one? Oh, why would I do this again? Just to trick myself into oh, that thinking was I two. have a family? Needs to be the other one. I'm what is that anyway. one from? The least I could do is be happy one more time. Slated for recycling. Oh, this was the happy life? Okay. De imprinting unit. Oh, this is the one we need. De imprinting. Oh, this might be what I need. Get out of there. This one. Oh, I hope I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. How do we find the clearance code? Oh, for Dandy? What am I doing here? Seven. Subject seven. What now? Oh, God, okay. I think I need to set up these modules. Two, three, five, and six. NVFS. How do we do that? Wait, it's... No. Is it down there somewhere? I have no idea. Anything here? Nope. This is getting so complicated. Where do I go for the next... Oh, here's something now. Hmm. Module rack. Oh, here. Two. I'm not sure I know what to do here. Just match them up. That good? Oh, God, this is, oh, this is bad. Oh. Okay. Uh, two, three, five, six. Okay. Three. Should I fill it until the red line? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Too much. Oh, it's getting worse. Hey. Oh. oh. This is so weird to figure out. How is that not on it? Oh, oh, I really think I need to hurry. Oh. Okay, five is in here. I'm hurrying, dude. 
This seems like all a test, don't you think? Come on. I feel like I'm not actually escaping, I'm just another test subject. This is all still part of the test. We'll never be free! Please let this fucking work. Oh. Okay, everything should be ready. But I don't know, I might have to go back to the monitor before I can actually start. <laughs> Please don't reset yourself, yeah. So I guess maybe there's three endings, but MD imprinting seems good. So, this will leave only my original memory intact? Hopefully. Guess I've got nothing left to lose. Is this the machine? It's booting up. <sighs> well, here goes nothing. Maybe this was a test to see what we would choose. Like, would we choose to go back to the memory? This is like the Matrix. Do you want to stay in the Matrix knowing so it's the sorry, Matrix? Dory. Or do you want the harsh reality? You may not be real, but I am. I'm not sure why, but I want my own life back. Yeah, why would you possibly choose to do the circus one again? Knowing that they're not even real, they're just a story made up by scientists. The happy life might be nice. Did it work, dude? Are you okay? Oh, I really thought a scientist was going to walk up to us and be like, How did he do? Oh, it feels weird. I know I just removed the fake memories, but I can't remember anything about them. That's good. But what now? Oh, I still killed all these people. Well, let's see if anyone is here to stop us. Let's see what's gonna happen. Do you think we're just gonna wait, walk outside? Be free? I mean, they kinda held you captive against your will, so... What did you do with all these shoe prints, though? Were you just dancing in, in place? Is it real? Well, let me just get out of here and hope they leave me the fuck alone. Probably too much to ask. But I won't make it easy for them again. Is that the end? Are we safe? Oh, what was that? Finish the game by using the imprinting disc. Yeah, that was it. Oh, do you think we're safe? Where is this 1k? Yeah, did I even get paid? <laughs> Turns out... Let's see, 80 cycles. And they said a cycle is about 8 hours. That was great though. Oh, my mouse is trapped. I was so surprised. I really thought it was just like the whole bit with the circus and the wife and then the kid and the reveal that we killed them. That was all like such standard indie horror that I was like... Sure, it was okay. It looks cool. The visuals are cool. I guess that's the game. And then it flipped all of it on its head. Very impressive. Yeah. 
I, I definitely had no idea that was coming. So good. 95%. 14 of 36 collectibles. Chapter select. Oh, look at that. The house facility. The machine. I don't know how much I would have to replay for the other endings, but... Oh, yeah, I guess I could check. If I do this... I probably have to do the whole... Yeah. I guess the power's out. So there's three endings, you think? There's this disc, there's the happy life, and the circus one is in right now. I kind of want to see what the circus ending is going to do. I guess that if you know what to do. Oh, but it's not working. Ugh. I One of these things is long. broken. Now I just need to find a replacement. Now I just need to find a replacement. Five endings? Five endings? Wait, what else can we do? What's what's our other options? Oh, this one looks good. Maybe if we do it without any disc. Maybe we just completely erase our own personality. Let's see. Oh, perfect. Power! Maybe it should take too long. Oh yeah, maybe if we don't get in the machine in time? The name of the game is Reveal. I used this machine before. But E I. What the hell did I do? Oh, there's an exit over there. I'm trying to move. <laughs> Wait. Um. So should we leave this one in? Death in the circus. Why would I touch that again? I just need to get out of here. Oh right. I need to do everything in the right order. Let's go get the key card. This room feels. Oh, I guess Sinister. we could try and leave Is this without where they with my head. Without do using Death the machine. Of last subjects. Subjects 2 and 3. Uh, brain hemorrhage. Reveal is awakening in French when you spell it like that. Severe oh. headaches. Inflamed brain tissue. Memory imprinting risks. Uh, resetting imprinted memories. Blocking the original memories again. Countermeasures. Mm -hmm. Initiate the next cycle. Can't skip Further this. research required. Dr. Ian Keller. You're lucky you're very charming, oh, voice shit. actor. Does this mean I have to use this machine to fix myself? I don't have time for further research. I just have to try it. Do you know? An ID card from one of the researchers. Oh, this could be my ticket out of yeah, here. Yeah, I think... I think if you try, he's just gonna be like... No, I need to use the machine. Oh, my head. Focus. I can try. But I don't think he will let me. I think we tried. We actually tried. I must use the machine to fix my head or I'll die. Yeah. Uh, okay. Death at the circus. All locked. I need the password. There you go. What am I doing here? <laughs> oh, what if we do... No, that's not right. Oh, I Subject seven. What now? Wait, is it different? I think I need to set up these modules. It's different. One, four, seven, eight, nine? Huh? Okay. One? I'm not sure I know what to do here. Yeah, what are we doing? 
this all of them. Oh God, this is oh, this is bad. Oh, <laughs> oh very, very bad. This is bad. Um. Okay, what am I doing here? Ah. Oh, wait. Why aren't you guys connecting? Can't move that end. Oh, that one works. Oh, it's getting worse. Nice. Oh. Eight, four, seven, nine. Um, Looks like you can insert the something. Insert what? How do we do four? Requires fluid. Seven and nine. Okay, guess I'll do those for now. Um, hmm. oh, I really think I need food is on the desk. Oh. Okay, I do this one brains. What do we want to do? Okay, can't light up everything. Um, oh, this fluid? No. Ah. Oh, that's three, four. I need 2.5 and four. Are they all the same? What was I doing again? Pump. Power. I don't know what I'm doing. Does it work? I, I can't select which one I want either. Hmm. Or does it just swap them out here? I didn't even... Oh wait, this one is different. Oh, it does swap them out, doesn't it? Three, four, five. Three, four. Ah, this is it. Nope. Ah, there it goes. Whatever it is. Oh, oh, oh please let this fucking work. Is that all of them? No, I need to do the brain one. It might be... Oh! Oh! Nine. Is that nine? We can try it. Oh my god. No wait, there's a nine there too. Which one should it be? Hmm. Maybe it's like top right and middle left only. Nope. Nope, 
last night. Wait, do they hit the... Oh, you can't hit those buttons. It definitely has to be something with this. But I don't know how to read it. Do you guys know? Maybe I should just do A, B, C, or D. I could try. I think that is one, right? That's A. All areas with nine. That's what I thought, but I only saw two nines. Yeah. Could try B. After a while, it just looks like broccoli, don't you think? And then lower left. The is ah, it was B. Uh, dear Lord, I think I'll just go for one other ending, because five seems like a lot, and obviously. Um, want to leave some secrets. Maybe this time my head will keep the bad memories away for longer. Oh, that sounds so bad, dude. Is this the machine? It does sound like it starts up, like you could miss the window to get in. <sighs> Back to the circus we go. It's fun that the Puzzles are different every time as well. What if this is what we did before and that's why we woke up in the cycle again, even though everyone outside was already dead? We're just resetting ourselves again. I think that's what we did. Because this is how we started. Kind of. There's nothing left here for me. I just want to forget everything again. I just want one more moment where I think everything is fine. Such a cool looking dollhouse thing. It's interesting though that he ends up waking up here because that means he must have walked oh, himself back oh into the cubicles oh, oh, himself. I feel like I had a bad nightmare. Oh, but I can't remember. Take your meds. What time is it? Oh, I should check if Martha and Dory are still up. Oh my god, that's so weird. <laughs> oh, no, no! Oh, well, you got your wife back. Stuck in a dream. Cool. Didn't expect her to show up there. Bad ending. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the game wants you to escape. Awesome. Hey, 100%. Hmm. Five endings. Okay, so what would be the... There's the happy life disc. But what would be the other two endings then? What do you have to do for it, you think? Three endings still missing. Yeah. There's way more endings than I thought. Yeah, very impressive. That was very fun. 
Leave without reading the notes. Leave without reading about the reset. I think you have to read the reset because the the ID card is under the notes that you have to read to get it. I think. That's probably yeah. For the first ending, yeah. I, I think the first ending is like the good ending. Reset with no disc loaded. Oh, like you become a blank slate. I wonder if it would let. I don't think it would let you do it without having a disc loaded because it, it's like on the computer it says which disc is in, and you have to select a subject and then another thing. So you probably need all three prepared to do it. Death by gun. Oh, there is the gun on the table. Yeah. yeah, I think the gun being there by the machine where you get reset, I think means that he did do... He escaped, shot everyone, and then chose to reset to go back. And then that's where we started the game. And then went through everything again. Because it was talking about repressed memories and stuff. Yeah, really cool. I think I'll leave it here because I'm getting close to feeding time for the bees. <clears throat> it's gonna be hungry. <clears throat> but yeah, that was a very nice surprise to play today. Um, my credits are broken. Let me see. It always gets a little confused when I go between YouTube and Twitch. They were randomly broken the other day. Also, no eye strain. So I guess, I guess it really is the astigmatism. I think, I think he was right. Hopefully then getting the glasses next week will help. And I'll get through it without too much headaches. Um, but yeah, this does this doesn't mean that Pacific Drive, Deathmark 2, and Banishers are stopped, but they are gonna slow down a lot. I do like enjoy like doing some other new stuff that comes out as well. So I'll definitely keep working on them, but they're long recording sessions and with my eyes right now. It's a little tricky. Um but yeah, this was fun. It was nice to do something f different for now. Um, I did say I wanted to do a hog as well. So we could maybe... What day is today? Thursday? I really want to try and work on Deathmark next. So maybe start of next week I'll do a hog. Um, something like that maybe. We'll see. But yeah, thanks so much everyone for hanging out today. Thank you everyone who became a member or gifted a membership. Or subbed. It's so weird to say it differently on YouTube. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I hope you all had a good time. It was a great game. I had a good afternoon. Um, yeah, I have... Oh, I have Outlast Trials for tomorrow on YouTube. I played some yesterday with the guys. Um, I hope you all will still like it because it was a little... It was a little hard to play with them because they've played it a lot in early access and I'd never played it. So I was kind of like trying to learn how to play the game and they knew all the levels already. So they were accidentally speed running it at times and I was just like, uh, what am I doing? But I do feel like after that sesh we did last night, I kind of got the hang of it better. So um, the first episode will be more like a warm up tutorial kind of deal. And then after this, I think the Outlast Trials are really like get harder and more interesting. So I hope you will still like it. That'll go up tomorrow and I'll still have this edited as well. Edit it down and then... Uh, although there was barely anything to edit down really, but I'll still put it up as its own like video, I think. And hopefully work on um, Deathmark in the meantime next, I think. Chapter 5? I think? So yeah, that'll be it for today. Thanks so much everyone. I had a great time and I'll see you guys soon. Next stream probably back on Twitch again do a hog or something, I think. 
See you guys later. Bye.